Hi guys, welcome back to Owl and Clover. So today we have a very special challenge. Uh, this is a special edition of Owl and Clover because we are doing a DIY and decor challenge with the DIY Mommy on Instagram. And so this is uh, going to be featured in her playlist. So definitely check that out as well as the other videos that will be there um, that are part of this challenge. And if you like this video, definitely make sure to support it. Give it a like and comment and share it as well. And if you also like this, please do subscribe to this channel because we appreciate your support. So without further ado, here we go. Puppy help. So this is the second decor idea for the pumpkins. This time around we're using tape. Where the tape goes, um, we are going to be drilling. So you get to use the power tools. We're using the drill bit size 7 64 and that's so that the hole is big enough and deep enough for the flower to go in, but it will hold it in place. So you see all the, the really cool veins going through the pumpkin? I'm literally going to follow that line with, if you can see that, with attack.
All right, so finished all of the painting, carving, all that good stuff. Now we're moving on to the decorating part. I want to thank the DIY Mommy again for this challenge. This has been really fun and uh, I'm really looking forward to everyone seeing my design. And I think it's really cool when you can do it on a budget or you can do it with fake flowers and that kind of stuff. And of course my dog wants to uh, hang out under the table. Just finishing up some touches here. Voila. Nothing has to be perfect, so just use what you have at home. I already had these really beautiful magnolia candlesticks, so I'm gonna use them again. I'm just gonna kind of play with it and see what I like the best. I think I like that one in the middle the best. And you can always give it some height too. You can put something underneath it. And I try to evenly space them. Just by eye though. I was going to put the top on this, but I actually kind of like how it's super full. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Now, typically when you do floral arrangements, the height's supposed to be one and a half times, two, two times the height of your base, which in this case, the base is the pumpkin. But I'm okay with this, I like this. So it's okay to bend the rules if you like what you're, what you're doing. And you can tell that I went with different types of flowers, mostly because I, had, I was limited by what the dollar store had to offer. A lot of people had picked through them. But similar colors, similar shades, similar textures. Now that we have our foundation pumpkins, as I call it, we are gonna put in our smaller pumpkins and squash. All right, so that's the squash or the, maybe you can help me out in the comments below. What exactly are these little ones? I'm pretty sure they're squash, but if you can tell me specifically, I'll love you forever. You want lots of the little ones to kind of fill in. You would do about anywhere from one and a half to twice as many of the big ones. And that'll save you some money, save you some like heartache <laughs> trying to fill up the table. Um, and keep in mind, if you're making this for Thanksgiving or making this just for a fall display, you want to leave some room in the middle of the table for putting like food and dishes and drinks and um, that kind of stuff. So just keep that in mind. The table doesn't have to be completely full in the middle. All right, guys. So we are going to put on just some final touches. You can certainly use little twinkle lights or anything that you have around the house. Okay guys, thank you so much. So this is the final result of our landscape, fall landscape. And this was for the DIY and decor challenge for the DIY mommy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So also check out all the other fall decor challenge videos that will be posted on the DIY mommy's channel. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already gone ahead and subscribed to this channel, please do so. And do give it a thumbs up so that we um, know that you like this content. And we'll see you back here next time. Thanks.